so what is going on YouTube welcome to your 20th angular tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at what guards are in angular and uh, how actually we made use of one guard in our angular login app so as you can see that we have created a guard earlier which is called auth guard guard well that's weird but anyways so what got essentially is in angular is that pretty much you can think of like user as a person and a route as a door right so god now makes sense a guard is standing in front of a door so if the user wants to go to that route the guard has to allow it first right so if the guard just disallows it then the user cannot go into the door if the guard directs the user to another door then user has to go to that door at least for that moment right so there are right now five six types of guards in angular but we're gonna stick to can activate for now because that's pretty much what we need for authentication purposes so first of all to create a guard what you have to do is uh, go to your command line and write ng generate guard and then your guard name which would be free from the word guard just don't do auth guard because it would then create something like auth guard guard right so angular considers that uh, intuitive to leave that auth the, the guard word right so once you have done that angular would automatically generate a guard file for you which is this authguard.ts and a spec file which is for unit testing but uh, we're just gonna concentrate on this one so what we have in here if we take a look is that uh, we have a can activate method which is which we got by implementing this interface and this interface pretty much just provides just writes a definition that you have to do implement this thing right and now what we are doing right here is that uh, we are passing the two arguments the next which is the activated route snapshot and the state which is router state which are something we do not need to worry about right now we'll come back to that later but what we have is that uh, angular expects us to return either an observable boolean or a promise or just a boolean right so it's up to you right now since we know that our code would return a boolean and it would be synchronous and not a promise then we can just get rid of these two and just leave it with the boolean right so now what happens is that uh, we are just returning this dot user dot get user logged in which is again our state right here our service rather and it just sets the user log is user logged into true when the user logs in and pretty much lets the guard know that yes the user is allowed to walk into dashboard in our case right so we are returning true here for the logged in user now once this returns true we go back to app module and inside the routes where we have configured our routes we take a look at the scan activate auth guard guard right so the scan activate tells angular that this route this path of the route is protected by this card right now so it would not let user pass through or pass on to dashboard if the scan activate does not allow to do so right and again one more thing that you need to include your route into providers just like we did for the service so once you have set this up and you are returning boolean values from here we can actually set up conditional routing right and instead of just you know bluntly rejecting the user what we can do is pretty much navigate the user away as well now for that what you need to do is include the router as a dependency and you can just do router here as router and uh, we would need the router again from the angular router right and once you have done that what you can do is pretty much just say this dot route dot navigate 
router and we can just say home in here right and we can just make it private as well so when we save this now if we take a look in the browser and try to reload the app and access dashboard you can see that we get redirected to home and again you can just throw a very simple console log here and say you are not authenticated so that we can just look at that message right so we just take a look at dashboard and uh, we get this you are not authenticated method and we are redirected to the home page right so again this guard runs before your mod your component actually loads right so it doesn't require your component to load all of that html and uh, all of that probably css as well the card runs first and you can pretty much see that by going to your dashboard component and seeing that this code never executes we never get uh, another is user logged in false in our console because this code never fires we just redirect the route redirect the user before loading the component so that was a quick demonstration on how the guard is working for our angular application and that is just one guard can activate there are other guards as well in angular which will take a look accordingly as we will require them in our application so that is all pretty much for this tutorial and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one